Hey there. We are in chapters 9 and 10 of Matthew, if you are following along with the guide for our Reading Matthew journey. Um, tonight, I'm going to look specifically at Matthew 9, 13. Now, when, uh, when Jesus speaks, when he says anything, it's probably a good idea to pay attention, wouldn't you think? Specifically, when Jesus says, go and learn what this means, well, you know something important is about to follow. So what is it that Jesus wants us to learn? Well, in Matthew 9, 13, Jesus says, go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Hmm. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> I guess that's why we need to go and learn it. If you ask a few more questions, why would God favor mercy over sacrifice? I mean, didn't God create the sacrificial system in the first place for our benefit, to forgive our sins? Isn't sacrificing something that we should do? Giving to God or giving something up for the sake of others, isn't that a, isn't that a good thing to do? So, first of all, if you're asking those kinds of questions about this verse or, or any verse in Scripture, that's, that's good. Asking questions is how we learn. Uh, and part of learning uh, what something in Scripture means is to look at the context. So what exactly was going on when Jesus says this? Go and learn what this means. Well, we come to find out that he is among a group of self-righteous, holier-than-thou religious leaders. These are people who believe that the path to God, to holy living, was made by distinguishing themselves from those, from others, who they deemed to be unworthy of God's attention, love, gifts. And these people then, to distinguish themselves, would spend their days in prayer, reading scripture, and going out of their way to avoid sinful and unrighteous people. Now, that isn't necessarily problematic, except for the fact that they did all of this only for themselves. They were sacrificing to such a degree, but only really to benefit themselves and not others. And so when we think about mercy, mercy is distinctly for the benefit of others. And mercy also requires sacrifice of some sort. This is why Jesus goes on to say that he didn't come to call the righteous, and in particular what he means is those who believe themselves to be righteous based on their own activity. Rather, he came to call sinners, to call sinners to repentance. And in this way, by Christ's mercy, he makes repentant sinners into truly righteous people people who are made righteous not by their own deeds or their own sacrifice or their own ability to follow laws, but by trusting in Christ's sacrifice. We rest in the mercy of Christ who sacrificed himself for us. We are righteous people, not because of what we do for ourselves or even for others. We are righteous because of Christ's righteousness. And in, in that, as we live our daily lives, we, we then seek to be merciful to others, to sacrifice for the benefit of others, that they too may encounter the love of Christ through you, that they may know Jesus Christ, the only true righteous one who is for them too. Hope you have a blessed evening today, and uh, we'll see you on Monday. Uh, take the weekend to catch up <laughs> reading in Matthew if you aren't there. Um, we should be up to chapter 10 by now, and uh, we'll pick up next Monday in chapter 11. Have a good night.